In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple HUD for use in UDK. To start, open Adobe Flash Pro CS 5.5 and select to open a new document. Select ActionScript 2.0 under the type heading and then change your width and height to whatever you desire. I'm going to use 1920 by 1080. Make sure um, you check out other tutorials on the Guildhall Wiki that will show you how to set your preferences in Flash. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create multiple layers. Layer 1, I'm going to make background, which I'm not going to do anything with in this tutorial. Layer 2, I'm going to make HUD. You just double click on the uh, layer to rename it. And then layer 3, I'm going to call actions, which is where we're going to place our action script. So select HUD first, and we're going to create our HUD. I'm going to move some things around here to uh, so I can see my screen a little better. The scene um, is where everything is going to go. This is how it will look when you finish. So this is where you should see everything. That small uh, window on the bottom left is the actions frame. That's where we'll be placing our action script when we get to that point. So the first thing we're going to start with is we're going to create area, two different areas. We're going to create area for health and we're going to create an area for our ammo. So this rectangle options, it'll add a kind of a curved edge, as you can see right there. I'm just going to copy paste that so I have two of the same size. I'm just going to try to line that up. So these are going to be our areas. Um, currently they're just shapes, we need to make them into um, actual symbols though. So how we do that is we're going to select one and we're going to right click on it and we're going to say convert to symbol we're going to name this health area which this is just a name right here but over to the properties where it says instance name this is going to be the variable used in the action script so make sure you name it something that you remember I'm just going to go ahead and name that health area to begin so and I'm going to call this ammo area and make sure I get over to properties and put something there as well. Okay, now we're going to actually go into the health area first. You do this by double clicking on the rectangle. Okay, and now that I'm in the health area, I'm going to create another layer. That way, uh, anything I put into it, it shows up on top of the area. So I'm going to rename the backspace area, and I'm just going to rename the uh, upper layer stats. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to import an image into my area. So I've got a little LOL cat here. right click and uh, get free transform to change the size and now I'm gonna move it back on top of that okay now I'm gonna create using the rectangle tool a uh, bar it's gonna function as my health bar now got that in there Looks good. Okay, I'm going to add a text box. This is going to be the percentage 
for uh, use in the UDK. Now make sure you uh, over in the properties you make the text dynamic uh, if it's going to change based on script. Resize this a little bit. Okay, this needs a variable name as well. I'm going to call this health val. And the bar needs to be converted to a symbol, just like we did the area. And I'm going to call this health bar. And I'm going to give it its instance name, health bar as well. And I'm going to double click on the background to get out of the health area and now I'm going to go into the ammo area okay I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to import another image after I create my layers In this area again and stats. Grab my image. There we go. And another LOL cat. For this, I'm just going to add another text box. Um, we're not going to have a bar for the ammo. We're just going to have ammo count. And you can really just type in, just so you know, you can type in any uh, number you want here. It's just it's going to be changed based on your script. Just make sure it says dynamic over in properties. And we're going to give this an instance name of ammo val. Yep, see, and this is where you can make sure it's dynamic text. All right, we're going to double click on the background, just like I did there. And now I'm going to import my reticle. So here's the image. And we're going to place that. We're going to convert this to a symbol. I'm going to call this reticle. And you see under registration, I'm putting that in the middle since it's going to sit in the middle of the screen. That's where I want it to sit. And then press OK. Give it an instance name, reticle again. Okay, now I'm going to go to actions, as you just saw, the actions layer. This is where we're going to put our script, just right here. You can, if you don't see this window, you can go to window, and you can select actions off there, and that's where you get this actions frame. Now I'm going to go to Facebook here. Jonathan uh, posted the script for me. This particular script angles the areas and makes my reticle um, rotate. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do with this. This is just a particular one I'm using. I'm going to make sure my variables actually match the variables I used under my instance names. So health area, ammo area. This is why I said uh, to make sure you name it something you remember. And where I got this bar, you can see health area dot health bar.
Build Val. Ammo Area. And Ammo Val. And reticle. <clears throat> All right, so we got that in there. Now I'm going to go to my scale form extension. Which I think I just closed it. So we're going to find that again. Just going to show you where to get it anyway. So here's where you open scale form launcher. Just open up in my top right corner. Change that to FX Media Player. You should have everything set up for this extension. If you don't, uh, check out the other wikis on the Guildhall wiki server. So, we need to save this first. So, we're just going to save it to the desktop as test HUD. Alright, there we go. I'm going to hit play. Okay, you can see here, this is what it generally looks like, but it's not w actually implementing the script, so now we're going to go find out why. Okay, now we're going to go to Action Script. Aha, uh -huh. so under Action Script 2.0 settings, we need to add a folder to this listing here. So we have these settings by going to Action Script under Preferences, which you can find under Edit, and then we selected Action Script 2.0 settings. Now I'm looking for UDK in your directory file. Okay, there's UDK, UDK 2012, development, flash, AS2, and click. Make sure you just have click selected, and then press OK. Now this needs to be at the top of the menu, and I'm just going to delete this little one here. That has to be at the top, so make sure you're that's about how it looks. Okay, and there we go. Hit test again, and this is what you should see.